And because of the rise in all these cases, the University of Arkansas has suspended all on-campus activity for the next two weeks. KWA's Clarissa Wismonte joins us live in Fayetteville now. Clarissa, the U of A is keeping an eye on students off campus as well. Yeah, Chad, if the university catches wind of students gathering here on Dixon while not wearing masks or social distancing, they could get in trouble with school. And Fayetteville police are also out tonight to make sure they're following those guidelines. We've seen the current number of COVID cases in the university community, and, and it's just, it's getting too high. Coronavirus cases at the University of Arkansas continue to rise, even with the laundry list of safety protocols in place. You know, the message from the provost today to suspend on-campus events uh, for the next two weeks is just one of those ways that we feel that we can control uh, the environment. John Thomas with the university says the school can only do so much. It's the students that have to start taking responsibility. It's, it's a message to our students that, um, you know, this is something that, that they need to help us do, that they need to help us with, um, you know, not gathering in groups of uh, large quantities and large crowds and, and continue wearing their masks. Brett Schulte, a professor at the school, says slowing the spread on campus starts with the governor. As long as the bars were open, the message is being sent to people, to students in particular, that things are back to normal. And the fact is they're not. And if we want them to be back to normal, we're going to have to do the hard things first. Sergeant Tony Murphy with the Fayetteville Police Department says officers are being extra vigilant this weekend, ensuring everyone is wearing a mask and social distancing while on the city's most popular bar street. We can either issue a citation or we can ask them to please get out of line and, and uh, Get off Dixon Street. That citation will cost you $100 to $500. We don't want the businesses to close. The businesses don't want to close. It's their livelihood. And, uh, we need to work together on that. You know, it's not us against them. It's it's we're all in this together. Thomas agrees, saying it's not just on students, but the entire community to slow the spread of COVID-19. The only way we can keep this community safe and, and keep our campus safe is if everyone uh, does their part and acts accordingly. The suspension of on-campus events begins tomorrow and goes through September 18th. Live in Fayetteville, Clarice Bustamante, KNWA Northwest Arkansas News.